up and go. You said what? She doesn't get up and go. No. Like, doesn't scoop. Like, is it gonna go though if you want it to? Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> this shit gonna go fucking 0 to 60 in like goddamn five businesses. I promise you. It okay. Ain't going nowhere. What's good y'all today 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 we back here with another banger video today y'all we're doing another car review all right y'all look what we got today y'all y'all we've been trying to get this one for a minute but y'all we finally got them here okay y'all i believe it's an 86 okay brown it was green but he wrapped it brown okay 326 wing on it big exhaust on it. everything the whole nine yards all right so let's come over here y'all what's up bro you got a clean, clean whip, bro. Oh, clean whip. Y'all look, look at the, look at the shifter right here, y'all. Clean shifter. You got what? You got the, uh, you got the uh, quick release steering wheel. What's what kind of hood is this? Uh, it's a VIS carbon racing. Hood. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, clean, Brody. Clean. All right. So look, I like I let like I let let everybody know. Okay. Take you down the road, ask you a few questions about the car scene, about the car in itself, okay? Um, like to get you some rolling. I want to hear you. I like, like I said, I do this because I like to hear people's opinion in the car scene about different questions and different things going on in the car scene, all right? So, how long you had that 326 one? Man, I think I've had it probably, this is my what, second year now, bro. Second year? But I'm already getting tired of it, bro. Like, Why is that? It's just, I don't know, like, I feel like at first it was more of like a hype thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So everybody yeah. hopped on the wave and I was like, you know what? Maybe I, it ain't for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I move forward and I might just do wingless for right now. Yeah. You okay. never know. All right, well, look, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all are new to the channel, y'all, please make sure y'all subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. If y'all ain't gonna see in the videos I released from Gat, y'all, please make sure y'all go do that. We got bangers dropping left and right, okay? That being said, let's get right into this video. Ready to go ahead and get this. All right. Not God. I had the squad to get in here, boy. All right. I love I love these dashboards. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They they ain't bad. I mean, let's shit. It's plastic, but it's holding up. All right. Well, I, I think I well. Uh, yeah, you good to go? Yeah. They gonna follow you. All right. Here we go. First question: What kind of coils are you on? Coils I'm on right now, they're uh, so I can't even like call it something. Yeah, it's pretty much like Broadways, but they made a custom, uh, a custom like uh, I guess strut, so yeah. it's kind of a little bit more yeah. different than uh, no pre the previous ones that they have. But yeah, I, I got 60k springs, 60k, okay, yeah, and then I got some, uh, I got pr pretty much full uh, front arms, rear arms. Uh, Racer X 326 arms. Okay. S -s 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 stuff like that. So 326 makes, they make other stuff other than just wings. Oh yeah, yeah, like, so bit of, like side skirts, front lips, the the front lip I got right now, that's 326, the, okay. the bezels are, for, are 326 as well. Okay. So pretty much, I mean, that, that's all I got, like, the, like uh, you know, 326 okay. ones. Okay, okay. First question to you, what would be the best and the worst thing that you do like about your car? The, I'd say the best thing I like about my car would be, I guess how sleek the body lines are. Uh -huh. More so like, you know, it, it it flows or everything. I mean, the camber, that kind of flows with it a little bit too, but I just like the body lines of the car. It, okay. it, it's a little aggressive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The worst thing I, that I like don't like about the car, um, I'd say the the fitment of all the actual like bumpers and all that yeah. stuff. Like once you hit something like, a bumper bracket's gonna break or something like that, and like okay. it's a pain in the butt to kind of fix and all that. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, okay. Oh, um, so more of a controversial question. There's a new thing going around as far as wheels and coils are not a bill. 
Okay. Is that something that you agree or disagree with? I I'd agree but disagree. Like, okay, so people say wheels and coils aren't a build, but I feel like if you have a vision for anything that you want to build, I mean, who cares what anybody got to say about it? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if it if it's what fits your budget, I mean, then shit, like, that rules everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that's 12 right here. basically buying complete builds in the car scene uh well if you if you flash it around your build or like well whoever's build that you bought like if you, if you flash it as always like you did all of that you know what i'm saying like yeah like, like, like when you played a huge part and all that shit like, yeah i mean ain't nobody gonna ever tell you like you know what i'm saying that, that you built some shit yeah because you know what i'm saying if you flash something around and somebody calls you out there goes your reputation right you know what i'm saying right like, like you're acting on a whole different be humble about what you got, and if you say it's yours, say it, but don't say that, that you built the whole thing. Yeah. You're gonna make a bad image for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. If there was a personal, what you probably, you probably wouldn't, you probably wouldn't sell this car, right? If you were to sell this car as is, wheels, wrap, everything on it, okay? What would be your personal price tag that you would put onto it? Personal price tag? Shit. I would say, Fair price would be like 23. Okay. I think you know what I'm saying. Like I do have like all the OEM parts and all that. So yeah. if anybody ever wanted to swap, like, I have to swap right over. So yeah. I got no no issue with it. I'm not giving nobody OEM parts. Okay. 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 If there was somebody, it's an 86, right? Yes, sir. If there was somebody trying to build an 86, what would be one thing that you would tell them that maybe you didn't know when you started building your 86? I'd say if you wanna, if you wanna buy parts, make sure you actually buy like the more quality stuff. I know, you know, everything has a price tag on it, but yeah. the cheaper you go, I swear to God, like every time, like I went a cheaper route, yeah. some shit like messed up yeah. and everything. So I, you know, I had nobody to point, like point out to me, like like what was you know, the good and the bad about all the parts that yeah. I was, you know, putting my hands on. So, yeah. you know, but the more money I spent on some parts, like the actual like top quality brands, yeah. man, all day that made the difference. Really? And that, that, that shit made a difference all day, the adjustability, like, like when it comes to full support and all that, yeah. like it, it made a wide difference on all that. Okay. Which is crazy about it. So. Okay, okay. All right, so let me ask you, was there anybody that you looked up to in the car scene while getting in the, in the, um, in the car scene, like, or looked up to in, in the car scene to get yourself in the car scene? Um, I had, I had actually one person who I looked up to the most when I came to the whole car scene. He's actually yeah. one of my, uh, I would consider him a brother. His name is uh, Jermaine. Yeah. And actually, man, he's had you know a few cars, you know, that he's had at his disposal, and he's taught me a couple of things, showed me a lot of things, you know, how to do stuff. And then I, I got another homie named uh, Nathaniel. He actually yeah. uh, owns a brand called Street Lovers. Yeah. Okay. And he's been there for me through, through everything. You know what I'm saying? Showed me you know the ups and downs about all the stuff that I was supposed to do right now. Yeah. The wrong way. All that. So you know, those two people I would say I look up to. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And why, why 
out of going out of all models of Toyota that you could have went with, whether it be the Supra or whatever, why did you decide to go with this model of this? I mean, of the Toyota. Um, I feel like for the value of, of what the car is, I feel like for what you get from it, I feel like you know anybody can have a Supra and all that, but you also got to think like people say you know the newer the car, you know the more reliable, and some people also say look if you keep your car you know maintained and all that, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So it, to me, I feel like shit. Even if I got a Camry, I would still probably make it the same way. Yeah. If I got a Corolla, if I got a little hash, then I yeah. feel like any car that I could probably put my hands on, you know what I'm saying? I might add a little bit of tilt. I yeah. might make it a little. You know, I might add a little bit of stuff here and there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Hey, I don't know. I, I feel like Toyota also got the reliability and all that too. So for this coupe, yeah. for actually, you know, holding like its value up until this point is pretty impressive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gatekeeping. Gatekeeping? Man, forget all the gatekeeping, bro. If somebody need help, man, give them the help. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Ain't no reason to gatekeep nothing. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, like, they're gonna find out what it yeah. is. Yeah. But I mean, you ain't gotta be a dickhead and, you know what I'm saying, like, hide something from somebody. Yeah. It ain't gonna make you any better than the next person in front of you, so might as well be, you know what I'm saying, sharing, sharing what you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's some, like, custom stuff that you actually can't yeah. explain. I understand that. Okay. Man, don't gatekeep. Everybody need help nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Don't exactly. Know what I'm exactly. Okay. So, look, I wanna appreciate your time. I thank you for coming out, giving us your opinion about the car scene, giving us uh, your inform information about your car, how you got into the car scene, different stuff like that, okay? Y'all are new to the channel? Does it get up and go? Say what? Does it get up and go? No. Like, does it scoop? Like, is it gonna go though, if you want it to? Oh, nah, no, hell no. <laughs> this shit gonna go fucking 0 to 60 in like goddamn five businesses, I promise you. Okay. Alright, so look, look, like I said, I appreciate your time. Look, if y'all you wanna shout out to Instagram for everybody watching this video? Oh yeah, uh my Instagram is uh at A Y A N J A V. Okay. Y'all yes, please make sure y'all go follow him. I will link it down in the video, okay? That being said, y'all stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace. Yeah.